Hello and welcome to the channel. As President Bola Tinyibu prepares to send his ministerial list to the Senate for ratification, he has been urged to discard and not return former ministers in the Havdgan Buhari's regime, Babatunde Fashola and Festus Keyamo, amongst others. We go find out the reason for this soon enough. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Why President Tinubu must not appoint Fashola, Keyamo, others as ministers? President Bola Tinubu has been urged to avoid recalling ministers that worked under former President Muhammadu Buhari because none of them met Nigerians' expectations while in office as ministers. Wale Adeagbo, a legal icon, made the call to the president in an interview with Legit.ng, adding that he saw no reason why any of them should be recalled. The Badan Bon lawyer gave his opinion without exception to some of President Tinubu's allies, who were former ministers under the previous administration, including Festus Keyamo and Babatunde Fashola. Recall that Keya Moore was the spokesperson of the Hull Progressives Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council in the 2023 election, while Fashola served as Chief of Staff and successor of Tinubu when the latter was the Governor of Lagos State. Speaking on the expected ministerial list of President Tinubu, Ade Agbo opined that none of Buhari's ministers is worthy of being recalled to be part of the new government. The legal luminary pointed out that from the Ministry of Education to the Ministry of Justice, there is nothing to write home about under the Buhari administration. He said, in my opinion, none performed well during the administration of President Buhari. Those I can talk about are fascia law, and he did not perform well. He only walked. Minister of Transportation, he only did well, let's say 45%. Ade Agbo then lamented that Kano, Ilorin, Ibadan, and Lagos en route train used to work well, but now they are no longer working. He then concluded that no ministry worked well and none of the ministers of President Buhari should be recalled under this new administration. President Bola Tinubu was also advised by Wale Ade Agbo to avoid assigning ministerial positions to his office as seen during the administration of his predecessor, former President Muhammad Buhari. Ade Agbon maintained that the practice is unconstitutional and President Tinubu must avoid being caught up in the web of an unconstitutional act. According to him, if the president tried such a step, it could be voided by any court if challenged because the presidency and ministers are executive positions and no one is permitted to hold both positions at once, it is not permissible in the Constitution. He argued that anything that the president does or should do, they are set out under the Constitution. If the president takes any step that runs contrary to the Constitution, such a step is unconstitutional and if being dragged to the court, the court can void that step. We should recall that the office of the president is an executive position and the office of a minister too is an executive position and it is clear under the constitution that both a governor and a president should not hold any other executive positions. Recall that former president Buhari was the minister of petroleum for eight years. Ade Agbo in his position maintained that such practice is unconstitutional and wrong. Meanwhile, Legit.ng earlier reported that President Bola Tinubu has been asked to probe ex Kano Emir and former governor of the CBN, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. An APC shifting, Kailani Mohakmad maintained that Sanusi should be made to answer some integrity questions surrounding his removal from office. Mohakmad urged President Tinubu to stop giving audience to Sanusi, adding that they are mere attention seekers. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, Director of Road Transport in the Ministry of Transportation, Ibrahim Musa, yesterday disclosed that the federal government has approved the reopening of the Seme border for the importation of vehicles. 
speaking at the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, meeting organized between officials of Nigeria and Benin, Musa said the development followed complaints by freight forwarders operating at the Seme border. The director who spoke at the ECOWAS monitoring team's visit to the Seme Kraki joint border post said, I was here with the former Minister of State for Transportation when the freight forwarders pleaded that the border should be reactivated for the free movement of goods and services. The former minister made us prepare a memo to that effect. It was considered and sent to the government. Also speaking, the Customs Area Controller of Seme Border Command, Dera Nadi, said the service has noticed a reduction in its revenue since the importation of vehicles was banned from the land borders. Nadi said, the former Minister of Transportation, responding to some of our requests and from the stakeholders, promised to take them to the Federal Executive Council, FEC. One of them is how to fully open this border. The Ministry has informed us that the memo has been written to FEC and it was adopted and that it will be given to the new government. He assured us that all the requests we adopted. In related news, the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Group, or Anenze Indigbo, has praised President Bola Tinubu for reopening the Seme border. The group stated that they are not interested in political appointments that will not yield any economic benefits for Indigbo. Instead, they would prefer that the president put in place promising policies like the border opening, which would eventually have favorable impacts on the lives of Nigerians. Oanese, however, urged the president to stop the persecution of Igbos in Lagos and other southwestern states because of their alleged alliance with the Labour Party. Speaking via a press statement issued by the Secretary General of the Oanese in Digbo Worldwide, Mazi Okeshuku Isiguzoro, the group stated that they have learned their lesson and are now convinced that tenable policies and administration would favor the Igbos. The document in part stated that Indigbo appreciates such promising policies like the border opening that will boost economic development, create revenue for the government, and have favorable impacts on the lives of Nigerians than political appointments that will not translate into no economic benefits for Indigbo. The realities on the ground imply that Igbos need promising policies and infrastructural developments for Southeast from the federal government than political appointments. President Tinubu should halt the perceived persecution of Igbos in Lagos and other southwest states because of the alleged Igbo allegiance to Labour Party. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.